Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're going to be continuing on with our KeyV series with a little bit of sprinkling in of SQLite. So let's just go ahead and get, get at it. So if you're new here, thanks for joining us. This is what we do. We take one subject and we build upon it. So all right, let's just go ahead and make our connection. and SQL dot connect and we're just going to create a new database and it's just going to be user dot db and then we need to make our cursor object cursor dot con dot cursor okay and then we need to get after our uh, creating of the table right so all right here we go Execute. Cute. Wow, if I can spell execute right. And we need to just get after our execute. So here we go. Execute. And then one, two, three. All right, here we are. Then create table ID. And then the ID values are going to be user. It's going to be text. Then password. These are important. We'll talk more in a minute about these. And close that out. And that. And there we go. Oh, forgot one thing. Cursor. Nope. Connection dot commit and connection dot close. There we are. Okay. So now, now we're going to be doing this. So we know how to take it in and we know how to grab it. But now we need to create a method that is going to add it to our database. So we're going to take in self. And then we're just going to, there's only one thing that we're going to change just a little bit from what we've seen with our SQL, and it's just a little bit more explicit. And that is the Python way, is to make sure things are explicit. So, okay, here we go. Let's just go ahead, make our connection, SQL.connect to where our user db and let's make our cursor object connect dot cursor all right so now execute one two three all right insert into ID. Now this is where we are going to expand just a touch from the SQL series of handling variables inputting into uh, the SQL database. All right, we're going to we're going to explicitly state what columns they are going into. So just like down here, all right. So we created user and password. Now we want to make sure that we're inputting the values into user and password. Okay, that that is why the change. And okay. Helps if you hit that. All right. Now let's bring this up here just so I can count my parentheses all right oops now this is where we take in our variables self dot user dot text and self dot password dot text. 
Let's make sure this is still in frame for you. Okay. So these right here, to remind you, are these and these res respectfully. All right. So now we got to close all of this out. So con.commit and con.close. All right. We have one last thing that we need to handle over here in our Kiwi file. So we did all the legwork. Now, this is what we want to have happen. We want all that. We want add user to happen when we press the create account button. So it is this simple. Wow. Okay. So on press root dot add user so we'll just go back to it so here's our root root add user so now let's save this come over here run it python dot my app dot py and here we come and pull it up boom and we're just gonna go user now a little bit of foreshadowing we need to add some functionality for a tab to go to the next input just a little hint password and then boom 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 what's happening so all right let's close this and we know where to go to see how to pull this up. So we're pulling up our actual database. We're going to browse the data and there we are. We press the button three times and they input the text input text into the database. So there we go. Now there's all kinds of problems that we have unintentionally created and we're going to sort through those and a problem that we just noticed that we have that we need to fix that as well. So we will work on all of those. So please drop any comments, questions, any video requests below. And don't forget that there's a link to GitHub to these two files now. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.